Hi, this is Terry Gray with Palomar College Academic Technology. I'd like to do a real quick post today on the subject of aspect ratio in Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, this is something you're going to have to face as soon as you start shooting video. You need to be aware that uh, you're either going to be shooting standard screen video or high definition video. And uh, there's a big difference. There's a different shape to the picture. If you buy a more modern camera, pay a little bit more for it, it's going to be an HD or high definition camera. And um, if you uh, have an older camera or pay a lot less for your camera, it's probably going to be a standard screen uh, camera. Now the aspect ratio of the high definition cameras is what they call 16 by 9. The aspect ratio of a standard screen camera is 4 by 3 and that refers to width and height. Let me go ahead and load a couple videos here so you can see the difference. This clocktower.mov video was filmed in uh, high definition and this old one of my pal Dr. Hayden Davis was filmed with a flip video camera at a standard screen definition. Okay, here's our video. So I'm going to actually move into the video a little bit and trim some of it off so that we can see both our thumbnails side by side up here and play through them. Now, you should be aware that within um, Windows Live Movie Maker you can set your project aspect ratio to either widescreen, that's actually the default, or standard screen, 16 by 9 resolution or 4 by 3. This widescreen is the, is the uh, resolution that uh, television screens, uh, all modern television screens, uh, display at, and many computer monitors too. You'll be photographing in either what they call 1080 uh, uh, resolution, 1080p usually is what it's called, and that uh, equals a uh, screen pixel resolution of 1920 pixels wide by 1080 high, or 720p and uh, that's usually 1280, I mean that is 1280 wide by 720 high, a ratio of 16 to 9. Okay, now if it's set to standard screen, but your video was shot in widescreen or high definition, you'll see these letterbox bars, top and bottom, black bars added to the picture to fill it up. Okay, now let's go over, change back to 16.9 and change to our standard definition picture and what happens here when it's set to 16.9 is you get these pillar box bars on the side. Black bars added on the side so that the picture will fit in the widescreen um, aspect ratio. Now let's change to standard screen ratio and it fully fills the screen as you can see. But you go back to your initial video and you get your letterbox bars. So uh, I think the moral of the story is to uh, uh, film uh, your entire project with a single type of camera. If you're checking these cameras out of an AV resource, make sure you ask the AV person, uh, is it a widescreen camera or standard screen, high definition camera or not. If you have a group of students doing a video project, don't mix them. There are ways to trim, um, that is, crop standard definition pictures to give them a widescreen aspect ratio, but you don't want to mess with that. We want to keep things as simple as possible. This video of Dr. Hayden Davis was filmed with a flip video at 640 by 480 resolution. That's pretty low, but it looks good and it's perfectly adequate for most, uh, most uses. Uh, and uh, a higher resolution at 4 by 3 aspect ratio would be 800 by 600, 1280 by 960, uh, so forth. I'll, I'll put a chart in the blog post that goes along with this little video. The widescreen ones though, and I think you'll agree that is a fuller uh, picture, more used to what we're looking at on our flat screen TVs, uh, was shot at 19, uh, 1920 by 1080. Okay, that's uh, 1080 resolution native, 
uh, it could be shot like this video I'm making at 1280 by 720 but in either case it's meant to fit on a TV screen or a display screen in what they call widescreen aspect ratio 16 to 9. I know that's a bit confusing and it even gets much more confusing when you start adding still pictures to your projects as we will uh, starting next week. Those are photographed generally in a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Uh, you know the old familiar 6 by 4 uh, photo format yeah, 1.5 to 1. Uh, the uh, problem there is that doesn't fit nicely within the Windows uh, Movie Maker widescreen aspect ratio whichever way you turn it. <laughs> so you have to do some special processing with still photos and I'll show you what to do with those next week. It's quite easy using the uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery. Uh, but for now just be aware that there are two aspect ratios and when you start on a project don't mix them or you're asking uh, for those black bars. Okay, thanks for listening.